Hello and welcome to a brand new cruise vlog. So we are actually, it is 6.35 in the morning, success. We got up when we said we were going to get up and this is because we are sailing into Oldham and I'm going to show you on the TV what it looks like from the front of the ship and then I'm going to show you what it looks like from our balcony. There we go. <laughs> That's it from the bow. And then let's go outside. Don't know if it's coming across on camera just how beautiful it is. But the sun is just poking out the back. We've got the reflection in the water. Breakfast has arrived. <laughs> this is a treat. So yeah, um, we filled this out in our last vlog and then we left it on the door uh, and then they collected it. It's a 250 delivery charge, but we thought like we're going on an excursion this morning. We wanted to look at the view. So we just wrote down what we wanted. We've got some pastries. Uh, what did you get, Alpen? Um, oh, I've got Alpen. And then we've got some fruits. fruit. We've got some apple juice, milk, oh yeah. Oh, I think there's some jam in here as well. Starting off with our pastries and enjoying the view. Morning vlog, I don't think you've seen my face. I think you've, I've just been a, a voice in the background so far. Um, but I have got back into bed. Oh, look at this for service. A Thank fruit you. Fruit delivery. <laughs> um, we've just been out on the balcony eating breakfast, looking at the beautiful views, and now gonna have some fruit in bed uh, before I start getting ready for our hike. Right, so we're all ready, and we are gonna go to our tour. We are doing the Brixstall Glacier, and it is depart at nine a.m., return at one p.m. Right, so we're off. Gonna get on our bus. On the right side, it's a river Olden, and then we come, we comes to the Olden Lake, and then the Olden Valley. You hear? The Norwegians are very good with names. The village name is the same, the lake, the river, and the valley. So it's now time to climb Brixtill Glacier. They said it should take about 45 minutes. Uh, we need to oh, we'll back. probably stop for photos yeah. and stuff. We need to be back by 12.15 to be taken back to the ship. But I'm excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> the views um, in the coach ride over were stunning. Yeah, and then they've got like big shop and there's a cafe as well. So if you need the toilet before you set off, you can do that. She said the hardest part is the first bit. Yeah. And, and stick, stick to the right. Yes. Because the left is for small cars. Keep to the right. Ooh. You can see all the blue and the white. We wondered why everyone was taking photos. And it's because of this. I was going to say, uh, you're expecting some trolls to pop up. <laughs> so these little carts take people to the top. I love the noise of the water. The Russian water. Helena got me a little water feature that I have on my desk when I'm working. I love it. 
I'm thinking actually I could get some stones from the top oh, yeah. and then because they're on the bottom of the water feature that would be quite cool yeah to remember the glacier oh, oh this, is steep. <laughs> this is steep <laughs> It's quite humid today, so we're getting this little bit of spray from the water, which is lovely. The waterfall is the most meltwater from the glacier, up to 10,000 litres per second. We're about to enter the Love splash this. zone! <laughs> you out as long as I could. Poor phone. <laughs> Watch the soaking. <laughs> but that is so cool. We got a photo on the bridge. I'll insert the photo. I mean on a day like today that was really refreshing. Maybe if it's on a colder day wear like a, uh, a jacket. <laughs> That's so much fun though. There are so many amazing photo opportunities. I think that one's my favourite uh, though. Oh, 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 <laughs> So we've got some stairs here, but it also says that wheelchairs and buggies can go a different way. We're going up here. I'm amazed by how clear the water is. And uh, they said on the coach as well that um, the questions you always get asked as a tour guide is, can you drink it? And she said, yes. And she said, can you swim in it? And she said, yes. Oh. We're going to enjoy a bit at the top. We might take a gulp, but yeah, don't jump in here. That's what we're heading towards. There's been some signs telling you about it as we've been going along, and uh, there was just one. It's been documenting like where the front used to be of the glacier, so it's moved so far back. Here's one of the uh, signs saying where the front used to be. So this was where it was around 1910. We're getting closer, it's getting windy. Yes. <laughs> the views are just spectacular. Like we've taken so many photos. Keep stopping every for like five seconds. Like <gasps> Yeah, every direction there's just something amazing to look at. Don't know if you'll hear me, but it is because it's a bit windy up here, but 45 minutes, 50 seconds. And we stopped quite a lot. We made it here. We stopped a fair few times. Yeah. So here we are, brick style glacier. I think it's important to note though, how far back it's gone. So there was a sign up there, they use it as like a climate indicator, but it's sad really to see how far back it's gone. But it is also a beauty to behold. Very fortunate that we can see this. So this rope signals the end of the line. We can't go past here. But what have you? Just film the next bit of Helmer's TikTok. <laughs> the Jane McDonald tribute. <laughs> <laughs> With a glacier in the background. Look at that. So Martin's on the hunt for his stone for his water feature at home. Oh, they need to be quite like small. Yeah. Just a couple to add in. And That's quite that. a nice one. Look at the pink. And then, like, any beaches or anything, you can just grab a you couple. You can add. It's quite big, that one, but it might be alright. This is, like, maybe a smaller version. I just like the pink in it, look. This is like when you're a kid and you're like, no, this one, this one, no, this one. Oh, no, I've lost one. Oh, no, you lost one. one. Was it your favourite one? The pink one. I don't know whether we might have to say goodbye to the big one. Yeah, I think it is a bit too big. You don't there have a glacier at home. That'll do, and then, like, on my little water feature. I've got actual stones. To remind you of? The glacier. 
Oh, it's been an epic hike. It's been great. So I'd say it took us 45 minutes and we stopped quite a lot for photos, but we did keep it quite like a pace, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and it's, I'd say it's a moderate hike. I mean, I haven't been on many hikes, so I don't really know what to compare it to. In parts, it was quite steep. But, yeah. Um, you know, you could take it. I mean, we've got till 12.15. It's only, what, time is it now? It is... 7.10. 10.40 now. So... Yeah, you could take a little bit longer than we did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Highly recommend as an excursion. I'm gonna go taste the water now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, refreshing. Is it nice? Yeah. I wanna try. Mm. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jamie Donald. So we just scooped up some Brit Skull Glassy of water. We could probably sell that for a fair bob. <laughs> but no, we're going to drink it. <laughs> All these carts going up is giving me like either Jurassic Park or uh, Mario Kart vibes. <laughs> On our way back down. It got soaked even more that time. <laughs> going down with the waterfall. <laughs> Be warned, it's quite dusty. Yeah. on the way so like my shoes have completely changed colour. I feel like walking boots if you've got them or walking shoes are the best. Yeah so there and back just crossed the finish line one hour 27 minutes I paused it when we were just at the top and we are back now we've got the shop here and then we've got a cafe as well just in the shop got postcards fridge magnets I like this mug. Some chickens. Big chicken. Ah, oh, some Christmas stuff. <laughs> Hello. So there's a sign for Iona inside the cafe and there's a selection of cakes available. So good. And also tea. I want them all. <laughs> I want them all. Strawberry cake, chocolate cake, apple cake, cookies and cream cake, lemon cake. <laughs> I went for the cookies and cream and the strawberry cake. But the strawberry, cookies and cream, chocolate and lemon. <laughs> I went all out. <laughs> On our way back, we've got a little photo spot. Got another photo stop. We just walked up from deck three to deck 16. <laughs> but this is our reward. Oh yeah. So a little time has passed. I went to the gym. We've just been relaxing in the cabin. And so I've made a decaf coffee. And I'm gonna continue reading a book that I brought with me. It's a very old book. <laughs> So this is actually Roger Moore's diary during the making of his first Bond film, Live and Let Die. So it's a really interesting account of like what it was like throughout the process of the movie and like his first thoughts and his nerves and stuff like that. And then we'll be getting ready to depart soon. So up on the bridge we are just completing the last bits and bobs on our departure checks. Our chief engineer and his team are firing up the main engines and in the next 10 minutes or so we shall be preparing to depart the berth and make for our next port of call, Hogesund. So we quickly ran upstairs because we heard the captain say that they were going to be like waving us off at the cafe that was at the port side. So uh, 
Yeah, we saw them for a bit, waving flags. Waving lots of flags. It was really music. sweet, actually, and everyone was waving their phones. <laughs> <laughs> We think we're going to go and see the early showing of Tribu, which is with the aerial artists uh, up in the Sky Dome. So yesterday's one was cancelled, so we thought we'd uh, take a look at tonight's one. Enter the arena where two ancient tribes, the sun and the moon, clash. So we are all ready for this evening. <laughs> we're going to head to the Olive Grove, which we're really excited about. Loads of people recommended this to us. Yeah, well, I say loads of people, I mean like vlogs and things like that. Um, and yeah, they said it's really, really good. Um, so very excited. I think it's Mediterranean, like Italian, Greek style food. Nice. Um, a lot of people said it was their favourite meal on board. So we will see because I really did enjoy the Limelight Club yesterday. Yeah, me too. Um, but I'm just wearing this new look dress and Martin has a nice uh, top on from... This is Malta. Oh yeah, you got it from... <laughs> I think it's m and I can't remember. I think it was. <laughs> but this is my new look dress. has come out so we've come onto the deck that was amazing that show that, that was favorite. my favorite one so we saw that and i can't remember what the other one was called we saw on the first night oh, um yeah. but that one i enjoyed yeah that one was really good um and with the backdrop as well i'll show you in a second um it was just amazing really really good very talented amazing stunts loved it yeah. So this is what we're sailing through at the moment and this was the backdrop to the show which was just stunning I can't believe what they were doing. I know, <laughs> on a cruise ship as well. Imagine when it's rocky. Oh, I It'd be imagine quite difficult, if it, if it, it gets to a certain point, I imagine they can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> we found a swivelly chair. <laughs> so we've come down to the Grand Atrium whilst we wait before our dining reservation. Martin's just finishing his beer. And just like that, the pianist starts. I'm a So we're here in the Olive Grove. We're gonna order some food. We think we might have ordered way too much food. So to start, I got an Italian salad with some grilled chicken. And I got the same. But... Italian salad with avocado. This looks so good. So I went for the carbonara, we've got some focaccia, and look at this lasagna. Looks good. I've got food envy. To finish, I've got a lemon tart with ice cream. And then chocolate and hazelnut cake. It's really good actually. Vanilla ice cream.
go for a walk, we said. <laughs> It'll be lovely and romantic, we said. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> I mean, this view is... Yeah. Look at that. It's 10 o'clock at night. And it looks beautiful. Speaking of beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> A seating area I've never seen before. <laughs> We've come along to the atrium. It's <laughs> silent disco. They really make me laugh, silent disco. <laughs> We are back in the room, the kettle has just boiled. Uh, we just went to the silent disco for a little bit, which was really good fun. <laughs> uh, lots of people there. Um, silent disco is always so funny to watch. Um, <laughs> and it was one where you have like two channels, so there was a bit of a battle going on, um, and each channel had a DJ. Yeah. Um, so they were like battling each other to see if they could get the most people listening to their music. Um, but it was really good fun. I'd highly recommend if you fancy a little bit of a dance. Um, because silent discos are always really good. But also, whilst we were at the silent disco, we met Justine, so thank you for saying hi. Um, you actually had no idea that we were on the cruise because <laughs> you don't have Instagram, and we'd only updated Instagram, not YouTube. Yeah. Um, so I think... <laughs> You were like, they look like Helena and Martin. And you were like, they are Helena and Martin. <laughs> um, but huge thank you for saying hi. And we chatted all things Efteling you and Europa so Park. You were so lovely. And yeah, all the good tips as well for Europa Park, yeah. which we definitely want to go to next. We want to add that to our list. But we are just going to have a chilled night tonight. We think we might just watch a film and have a cup of tea and then get an early-ish night, although it's Hit probably the, about 11. Hit the hay. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> we'll be up tomorrow for our next port. So we will see you in the morning. Welcome to Horgesund. So this is where we're going to explore today. They just said it was a 30-minute walk into the city centre. We think we're going to try and have breakfast and then maybe see if we can get in a whirlpool quick. We've come back to the cabin to look over the side, see if any of the whirlpools are free, and all three are! Now, Actually, no, we could get down there. A okay. big group could come. <laughs> Anything could happen. I didn't take the camera to breakfast because uh, we went to the Pearl restaurant again, which we've already shown, and I had the same as uh, a few days ago. <laughs> I have Oh, I had the eggs benedict. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, hell no, I had the pancakes. Sorry about that. <laughs> did you enjoy them? They were very good. Uh, they're quite a small portion, so I'd get pancakes and something else if you're um, going there. Uh? They weren't, they're not big ones, they're like little ones. Little ones. We managed to get in the whirlpool, yay! <laughs> that was really nice. Um, and now we are all showered, ready to go into Hargesund, Hogesund. I know, I'm really sorry Not for getting that wrong. Not entirely sure how you say this one, but we're gonna walk into town. I think it's like a 20 minute, 30 minute walk. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna see one of the crew members, um, shout out to Rule, let us know about a bakery. So we're gonna go and see yeah, what that bakery's like. They got donuts. <laughs> I was just going to say that this is the last port. It is. Then we have a sea day tomorrow and like the first part of the cruise where we had like the onboarding and like mm -hmm. sea day felt like they went really slow and so, then as soon as the port started it's like bam 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 bam. Sped up and I was like how are we on the last <laughs> port? We still have like two more nights. Yeah. Um, so like there's still a lot of the cruise to go but yeah this is our last port. Really enjoyed each of them. I feel yeah. like we found stuff to do in each of them. Yeah. I was just going to point out that each set of like stairs has its own colour code. So blue means forward staircase, silver means like mid staircase, and then red means aft staircase. So we enjoyed a relaxing morning in the whirlpool. Luckily, we got in that. We do. Um, and now we are off in our last port. Have this in the port. Yes. It's like a 20 30 minute walk into town. So we're just doing that now. Um, the sun is out. We have been so lucky with the weather. The weather this week has been amazing and loads of people have messaged like so what do i pack for a norwegian fjord cruise and i have no idea because i think we have been really lucky with the sun but i do know at times it can be really cold it can be really kind of like gloomy 
so I think it's that annoying thing of having to pack dresses but then also packing jeans and a t-shirt and a jumper just in case yeah um, I think it can be any kind of weather so we've decided to follow this map and sort of follow the general route of it so yeah. that we can see some of the sites. It tells you the sites on the back so I think it's pretty straightforward. We've swapped roles though, normally you're the navigator. Hell another navigator. <laughs> so across the way here is the museum and then across here to the right is their public library. Yeah we're gonna carry on that But way. we're gonna carry on and I think we're gonna come to a church. So we've just walked up to the library and uh, Mark was saying it looks like Sequoia Lodge. It That's actually right, does. Right. Um, this is one of the best examples of Scandinavian modernism in Norway. Houses, a cafe, has Wi-Fi and a lovely park. Not sure if you can see through there as well. Bit of street art. Scrooge McDuck there. <laughs> <laughs> So this is an impressive church. Sorry, I was I was too quick with my facts <laughs> there. It's called Our Saviour's Church. Don't want to get too close, but this house here, we think it's just someone's house or we're not really entirely sure, but it's gorgeous with the green and all the flowers. So we've just arrived at the park uh, and this was... It's by Park and Park and the pavilion in the park is from 1923 and has great acoustics that's in the centre. That's a pretty park. Our next stop is the art gallery. Yep, it's open Tuesdays to Sundays. <laughs> the streets are very peaceful yeah. and these houses they're so gorgeous. Look at like the arching and stuff. On yeah. The windows and things. Really pretty. So that music you can hear, we've just passed a school and it looks like they're doing like a teachers v students uh, volleyball. volleyball competition uh, because they actually break up for school for summer. They have two months off. Um, so they're breaking up this week. Um, but yeah, that's really cute, isn't it? <laughs> so we have arrived at our next stop, which is this amazing church and I know we keep comparing it to other places but this is something that looks like it would be from Storybrook and once upon a time well it looks like the main like tower hall in yeah it, it? <laughs> there's a lot of these places actually that just remind us of once upon a time like even just there it looks very fairy tale love it so we're here at our next stop which is a viewpoint Havnaburg viewpoint and this is a sculpture of Norway's first king Harald Fairhair So the map does get bigger and like you can go further afield. Obviously we're just in the port area so we are just going off of the small map which is on the other side. It roughly is, so like two hours, one and a half hours, three hours. Hmm. So this red building here is another museum, it's called the Dokken Museum. Dokken Museum. It takes you back to Pagasund 150 years ago, a glimpse into what life was like. So we just walked a bit further around because look at this view of Iona. It's next to the Norwegian Coastal Administration building. <laughs> it looks amazing. Another Jane oh, MacDonald. <laughs> tribute TikTok recorded. I've only got one more little bit to film and then a couple of um, filler clips. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jane herself because that's what she'd have to do on her cruise holiday. She'd Is have it? to take time out to do her filming. It's Instagram or TikTok? I'll put it on both. Oh. <laughs> There's one of those rib boats. We really fancied doing one this trip. Not this time. Maybe on her next adventure. 
Right, so we're doing Harold's Gatter now, the town's shopping street with a range of specialist shops and well-known chain stores and cafes. All a cafe. <laughs> We're on the hunt for that cafe that was recommended where you can get the donuts. A little bit further along, I think. We found it. It's called Lutch Food. So we picked ourselves up some donuts. Look at these. Oh. So, what's this one? That's Kinder Bo Oh, oh no, that's Kinder just Max. the Kinder one! Oh, oh no! Well. There it was, was Kinder two Max Kinders. or Kinder Bueno. That'll still be nice. And, and then, then this normally has blue sprinkles because this is Cookie Monster. How funny! <laughs> so we finished our donuts, they were very good. Don't know if I've got any wrong with that. And we've just come to our next stop, which is the Fisherman statue. Famous. But also behind oh, yeah, me, sorry. there is the cutest dog. He's like a huge snow dog. And he's just in the fountain, um, cooling off. He's just the cutest. So here is the fisherman statue. Symbolises the town's rich history of herring fisheries. If there's one thing about Martin Bell, he loves a water feature. <laughs> <laughs> So we just walked past and it was basically just all restaurants and hotels but it was a lovely little area, really relaxing, everyone was just outside eating. Numerous hotels and restaurants line Smida Sundet Sound. It's lovely though, it's just by the water um, near this bridge, if you look out for the bridge here. But I think if you were looking to eat somewhere maybe off the ship that would be a really nice little spot, loads and loads of seating outside. So just come across this water feature and then this beautiful pink building behind it and then just behind us here is this lovely open green space it's a really pretty port it's really there's a lot to actually just walk around and look at and um, we weren't really sure we hadn't done much research about um this port yeah. but it's been a lovely little surprise really really like really unique yeah definitely pick this Map yeah. up though, because it's got loads of other information on it. So this pink building is the town hall. This is a nice little place. If you wanted a little picnic, you could come and sit here. We are on the hunt for a Marilyn Monroe statue, which is the last sort of yeah. stop in our tour. Which I was quite surprised to uh, hear about. So it says the father of Norma Jean Mortensen, who went to be known by Marilyn Monroe, is said to have come from the Hargesund area. So that's why you'll find a statue on the quay. And to signal the end of our little tour, we've got Marilyn Monroe. That's quite cool, isn't it? 1926 to 1962. I did not expect to find a statue of Marilyn Monroe here. Yeah. That's crazy. I like the one shoe off. Yeah. And then you got the bridge in the background. On the drainage cover, yeah, this is the statue, isn't it, that we saw? <laughs> that was so nice. I really enjoyed exploring well done, Navigator. Uh, yes, I didn't get us too lost. <laughs> um, what I've loved is that each port has been so different. Though, they, yeah. Hasn't it? Yeah, they really have, actually. Yeah. Considering we only did one excursion, which was yesterday, yeah. and then we've just done our own thing for the past, the other three, Yeah. Um, we've managed to do different things and see different things each time which has been lovely. I've loved it. <laughs> right we're gonna head back to the ship now. Our first time at Horizons for lunch. So I just grabbed some bits and pieces. Cocoa van, some mash, stuffing, Cornish pasty and a roll. I've got a little turkey kind of roast dinner, <laughs> mash, swede. <laughs> We've come back down from the buffet. Helena's got her favourite, Paradise My Punch. Paradise Punch. <laughs> and I got a non alcoholic copper bird. Popping it in the fridge though for later. I love the flavour of this mixed fruit. Um, and yeah, I just thought we'd come back to the camp because we're going to be out a bit earlier tonight because we're going to Sindhu restaurant. Uh, so we're going to spend a little bit of time on the balcony. The sun's actually on the balcony at the minute. Mm. 
I don't know who we started watching last night. Um, oh, we did. We could finish that, actually. The Best Exotic Marigold, Marigold Hotel. Hotel. Which I've seen before, but you haven't seen. You've only ever seen the second one. I've seen the second one, yeah. I haven't seen the first one. Uh, so you might watch that. It's quite a nice, like, holiday film. Cozy. Yeah. That's what's really nice, actually. I really love this cabin. It feels very, like, you enjoy spending time in it, which is nice. So, like, mm -hmm. if you do have a couple of hours before the evening, it's really nice to just come back, sit on the balcony or sit... Um, on the sofa here, yeah. like it's really nice. Actually, mentioning that, it's like so we booked a balcony. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. But we originally, I think, when we logged in, we're in a different cabin, mm -hmm. and then we got a letter saying, not a letter, an, <laughs> an email. email saying that we'd been upgraded. Mm -hmm. Um, so like our boarding time changed, and then also what deck we were on changed. So yeah, uh, don't know why that happened. We had some teething troubles with like before we got on board uh, in terms of like parking parking and also uh, choosing cabin which mm -hmm. was like an option but then long story short we weren't able to park and we weren't able to choose cabin <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yeah but it was nice that we got an email saying that we'd been upgraded to this cabin it's really nice it's deck 15 so it's high I think they're the highest balconies um, so it is really nice to like look out um, it's near the buffet and the Sky Dome. Yeah. A little bit of a walk to the main stuff on deck eight, especially I mean, at night when you when you're coming up the stairs. You can take the lift. Yeah, but... you can take the lift. We've just been using the stairs. <laughs> I've been using to use the stairs. <laughs> but it's a really nice position. We're sort of midship, aren't we? As well, we're cabin yeah. number one five four zero eight. So yes. anyone watching that's been in that cabin, let us know in the <laughs> comments. You never know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really do love it. Nice. I think that was like their way of saying thank you Aww. for doing the trips and stuff that people went on. And they were waving. <laughs> and I do hope you all had a fantastic day here in our final Norwegian port of Hogesund. So, as I speak, we are just completing the final bits and pieces on our departure checks, and in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so, we shall be giving the order to cast off as we make for our home port of Southampton. I can't believe it! I filmed, so like, each day, the captain at the end has said, Toodle Pip! And then, so I was waiting for him to say it there, I was going to add ski on the end, but he didn't do it today. He did ta-ta for now, TTFN. <laughs> His announcements have been fantastic. He's been great. <laughs> For our evening meal. Yes, I was watching a bit of Elvis uh, on the TV, the video on demand service, and watching the sail away. But yeah, I'm excited to see what Sindhu has to offer. Yes, this is my little outfit. So it is this quiz dress, but it's actually a um, play suit. It's shorts. So I can do all <laughs> the dancing. Um, I thought it was quite, we're going to see the Take That musical tonight. Greatest Days, I think it's called, so I thought it was quite appropriate for that. <laughs> so what is it? So it's an abbreviated version of the musical, is it? Yeah. Uh... So we've got our own booth. It's very nice in here. Yeah, very stashy. <laughs> So with this one we paid a deposit of £10 each and then that comes off of the total at the end. And then it has the prices yeah. by each, um, each thing. And you can check the price, you can check the menu as well on the my... Holiday app, yeah. well my holiday website. <laughs> so we've just been brought some little poppadoms. So I'm being adventurous today, this is the Goan Masala Stew off slow roasted pork belly pie bean and chorizo with a chapati crisp. Ooh. Minus 
flatbread bites, I think they're called. Yeah, they are, yeah. Um, with peas, potato, red onion, yogurt, and a sweet tamarind so chutney. So cool. <laughs> so I've gone for the deep fried monkfish medallions with tandoori tiger prawns. And mine is beef fillet with, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> red chilli, coriander seed crust, chilli buttered cabbage, onion bhaji with masala sauce, and coriander bernays. I remembered all that. <laughs> Didn't just read it. <laughs> These empty plates say it all. That was delish. Top notch. That was so, <laughs> so good. So our desserts have arrived. I've gone for a cheesecake and Martin's gone for a chocolate. I'm trying to find out. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> a rose syrup dumpling encased in a bittersweet chocolate and cardamom mousse. But we're both going to try a little bit of each. I can't get over how stunning this cheesecake is. So we just got our sindhu and that has been my favourite meal. That was so nice. <laughs> you pay a little bit extra for that but I would say it's definitely worth it. The food yeah. was another level, it was really really good. The service was fantastic as well. It was, it was just really a... different stuff as well. Yeah. Completely different food to what we've eaten so far on board. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a fusion restaurant. Um, mostly like Indian but then it had like a fusion of other food as well um, but yes so nice <laughs> Just come along to get a photo at the infinity pool. This is one of my favourite views of like when on any ship is being at the aft of the ship. Seeing the trail. It is so bright! I know! <laughs> Quarter to nine! Can you believe uh, it? <laughs> it's right. so his eyes still not over this midnight sun. <laughs> like how is this in the middle of the night? <laughs> we watched a bit of pulse. We love watching Pulse, yeah. so they were doing an 80 set, and now we've come up to the Sky Dome to watch uh, boxes. boxes. They're going to do a Diva set, I believe. Yes. Um, but we've got an amazing seat right in the middle, so we'll be able to sit back and watch them. <laughs> a blast from the past. Yeah, look at all this. They've got teletext. I used to use teletext back in the day. <laughs> Greatest days. See you after. So we just got back to the cabin after seeing Greatest Days in the Headliners Theatre and we loved it, it was so good. Um, really, really highly recommend seeing that if you are on a piano ship. It is um, Take That Musical, um, but it's like a... Abridged version. Abridged version um, of the musical. I've yeah. never seen the full musical and I think there's a film out as well. Yes, there is. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. It they were amazing. all so talented and it got me at the end as well. Uh, the set, like how they moved, this, everything, like, everything about it I really enjoyed and the music was fantastic. Yeah, I really liked the way that they used the music um, within the story and yeah, I don't want to give too much away but I would highly recommend going to see it if you are on a piano ship. Um, it's really nice to like watch a musical as well um, because we haven't, yeah, there's been no other like musical theatre has there so it's really nice to, to watch a show and watch a musical. Um, but yeah, we are going to end this vlog here because tomorrow is sea day so that's going to be a brand new vlog. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the last vlog of the series so I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, we will leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button and also subscribe. Bye! Never forget to say toodle pipski! <laughs> <laughs>